welcome everyone. Welcome to I would say all of the continents. Uh, welcome to Australia, Asia, Africa, Europe, North and South America. So good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all of you. Welcome to this gathering of the Neuro Semantics community all over the world. And give yourselves a big hand for being here. <laughs> Forgive me for being so excited because as I was sitting here noticing one face coming up, the first one was Lily. Oh, so that's Mexico. And then we have uh, we have Zenda from Australia. So it's so exciting for me uh, to be having this meet up with every uh, with so many people from all over the world for those who do not yet know me i am mazuki i'm a neurosemantics trainer and meta coach and i represent malaysia in the isns leadership team this is the isns community meeting the purpose of these community community meetings is to have a stronger connection between our international institutes and members to increase our collaboration and most of all to have fun. This meeting is organized every other month, alternating with the neuro semantics wisdoms sessions. I see this community meeting as a homecoming. This is not a seminar or a talk. It is a get together of the neurosemantics community, just as we get together with families and friends to celebrate and cherish one another. This mm. meeting is scheduled for 60 to 80 minutes. Uh, I will first introduce the theme for the meeting that is the neurosemantics of writing. Then we'll have the uh, discussions, the activity where we'll break out into uh, into the breakout rooms of four or five. This is to give an opportunity to everyone to be involved because if we were to stay in the main room, it's too big for everyone to uh, take part. So we'll break out into the breakout rooms of four or five uh, per room. And that's when uh, you will have the discussions. There will be two breakout rooms, two activities. So we'll have two separate sets of questions that we'll be discussing on. So after each breakout room, we'll, we'll come back to the main room for about 10 minutes uh, so that I can hear uh, from you what you discuss in the breakout room, and then we'll go to the next set of questions. Then before we are done, I will make some announcements regarding the neurosemantics training all over the world. So before I continue on, I would like to honor your attendance today by greeting each and every one of you through the national institutes and i get excited about this because now i'm going to invite you to unmute uh, unmute your mics so uh, just unmute your mic so that uh, we can honor everyone by loudly greeting in our national language as I introduce uh, the institutes. Don't bother whether it is your institute or not. Every institute, I would like you to make as much noise as possible uh, to get everybody to feel uh, welcome. So are you ready? Let's begin. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The Institute of Neurosemantics Africa. Selamat datang to Africa. Yay! Yay. Bonjour. Yeah. Bonjour. Kimanya. Then the Institute <laughs> of Saki. Neurosemantics Australia. So welcome. Yeah. To yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the Institute of Neurosemantics Brazil. Selamat datang Brazil. <laughs> for welcome. And next is the Institute of Neurosemantics, Egypt, Middle East, and North Africa. So welcome. I hope there are some welcome, of you man. here yeah. because <laughs> currently there's a little <laughs> personal genius in Cairo. So maybe not that many who are here today. Next is the Institute of Neurosemantics Europe and Scandinavia. Welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome. Yeah. Next is the Institute of Neurosemantics Hong Kong and China. Welcome. Yeah. You've just finished your <laughs> year, so I hope you're ready <laughs> to get going. Next is the Institute of Neurosemantics Indonesia. Selamat datang, Indonesia. Yes. Yeah. Hey. Welcome. 
And next is the Institute of Neurosemantics, LATAM, Latin America and Mexico. Welcome. Yeah. 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 Hi. Hi. Yes. Mexico. Next is the Institute of Neurosemantics, Malaysia, Philippines and Singapore. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> and next is the Institute of Neurosemantics, US of A. Welcome. That's a very good presentation. <laughs> so again, I'd like to welcome you to the uh, this uh, evening, this morning, this afternoon's uh, 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 community meeting. It is on the neurosemantics of writing. So allow me to introduce the theme uh, for today. It will just take about five minutes for me to introduce that. Now, in January, we had the uh, wisdom session where Michael presented on the neurosemantics of writing. Recording and recording. Oh, there's a feedback uh, coming in. Uh, so I'm good? Okay. Now, in the session, uh, the main thing that Michael shared about writing is what does writing do to you? And uh, typically, for most people, when they think about writing, it's about selling books and getting lots and lots of money uh, from the books that they sell. However, uh, Michael focuses on the self-development aspect of, uh, of writing. So that completely blindsided me uh, and it was a big wow for me. So let me share with you uh, what are the, uh, the benefits that writing bring to us when we write. The first one is that it enriches and expands learning. Next is it deepens thinking because we need to slow down when we write. Then uh, we learn how to frame, because in writing, we are uh, communicating the experience to others. So we need to frame that. And it creates precision. In speaking, we just let the words come out. However, in writing, we want to be economical with the words. So that's where we begin to learn how to be precise. And the next benefit is that it enhances our ability to influence people. Next benefit about writing is that it uh, enhances the quality of our lives. Because as we write, we are reflecting upon what we are writing and we, we begin to make changes, uh, certain uh, changes in, uh, in our lives with respect to what we are writing. And... Uh, this, uh, to me, is uh, really important. It is a great memory tool. Uh, instead of trying to hold everything up there, so when we write it down, it becomes a tool that will remind us of how uh, uh, what we are learning. And another one is that it enables us to work out our idea. We may have an idea and by writing, we are... Uh, massaging the idea, working it out uh, in this way and that way. So it helps to work out the idea that we have. And last uh, point that Michael shared with us is that writing enables us to expand our voice. Uh, meaning to say now our voice gets uh, into, uh, into the blogs that we may write, uh, into the uh, articles or even into books. So now it, we are able to expand uh, our voice. So uh, these are the different uh, benefits that we get when we write. And when I look at these benefits, I say, I want that. Yeah, so it is not just about uh, publishing a book. However, in terms of personal development, uh, it is crazy in that sense, the kind of benefits that you get from writing. So uh, for those of you uh, who were not, uh, let me see, who were not uh, in the wisdom session, what I'm doing right now is I've just sent in the, uh, in the chat box the... Uh, link to the recording 
of that presentation. So if you were not in the uh, in the wisdom session last month, you can copy that link and, and paste it somewhere in your laptop or i uh, or your uh, smartphone so that you can access that. Okay. Now next we are going to go into the discussion. So with that brief uh, introduction, we are going to go into the discussion. Now, to help you with the discussion, instead of you uh, uh, furiously trying to write down the uh, the questions uh, for discussion, what I've done is that I have um, uh, pre uh, pre prepared the discussion sessions uh, questions uh, as uh, a PDF file. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm uh, I looking at my desktop, identifying the PDF file that I'm going to send to you. Yep, it's being sent uh, to the chat box. Uh, have you got that PDF file uh, in the chat box already? No. Oh, no. no. Yeah, now it's going. So it's 7.29 megabytes. So it will take a little bit of time. Uh, and as you are, as that one goes, yeah, uh, it's uh, uh, all sent. So what I'll do right now is just to uh, bring to you the for the discussion number one, activity number one. So in a short while, we'll be breaking into uh, groups of uh, four or five uh, in a room. So the first uh, for the first activity, there are two questions that will be discussing on. The first one is because writing evokes a very different state of consciousness. When you write, you get to express what you think. What state or states does it evoke in you? Are these the states you want and need to write? Now, frankly speaking, this question uh, just caught me off guard. I ne I, I've never thought about the states that I want to evoke when I'm writing. So uh, this is something that I would like uh, everyone. Let us discuss in the uh, uh, in the uh, room uh, in a short while. And the second uh, question is: Write first uh, for yourself to know what you think and feel. It's amazing. Often it is by writing your thoughts and feelings about a situation that you come to discover your actual thoughts and feelings. Given that, how interested are you in developing a writing habit for that purpose? So these are the two points with the questions uh, that we will be uh, uh, we'll be discussing in a short while. So are you ready to get started? Marzuki. Yes. Um, we'd like to, we're joining you from oh. Cairo here from LPG. Okay. <laughs> I didn't see that. Okay. Now let me just stop <laughs> we just just wanted, for a moment. We just wanted to say hi to everybody for a minute. i um, glad that you're part of the, the Zoom meeting today. And uh, we're, we're right in the middle of uninsultability. So <laughs> that's what everybody's doing right now. So, so uh, Michael, are you ready uh, with some insults that you are going to throw at them after the pattern? Uh, say that again. I didn't quite catch it. Are you ready with some insults that you would like to throw at them after the pattern? <laughs> 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 no, what are you a jerk thinking I would do that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we might uh, have a uh, insult party or something. <laughs> so, Michael, be, before we go into our uh, uh, our uh, groups in a short while, uh, I'd like to invite you to stay, uh, say a few words regarding the. Um, uh, regarding the topic that we are discussing. And later, I'm going to also uh, 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 announce the Writing Mastery uh, program that, that uh, Tariq is uh, organizing. So, Michael, over to you. Well, the questions you just read, uh, a lot of us, when we start to write, we, we, we're judging ourselves, we're feeling stressed, 
we're feeling uh, uh, we're we may be uh, uh, doubting our abilities to communicate effectively, or we may be so caught up in the content that we don't even think about how it's being expressed. So that's one of the reasons why thinking about the state that you go into when you're going to write uh, becomes really important and distinguishing that between the states I need to be in if I'm going to effectively write. So. Okay. Thank as, you. as with everything, state is the uh, critical success factor. If you don't get that right, it's hard to get anything else right. Okay, so thank you, Michael, for that. Uh, let me uh, hear Tariq's voice and also Geraldine's voice. <laughs> yes. Well, happy to join you. And I was looking forward to join you more during this event today, but we are in the middle of the training. So hopefully we'll do that during the next months. Well, hi, everyone. I just wanted to invite you um, for the writing genius that's going to come up in um, what dates again? Um, 20, 21st, 22nd. 20, 21st, 22nd. Yeah, I'm excited for that because it will be addressing uh, the blocks as well and saying that how to move forward in terms of our, our writing and we get to pick Michael's brain so we can do what he does, you know, I mean, we, we end up actually, uh, you know, he writes faster than we actually read, so it'd be nice if we can get this genius pattern for writing. <laughs> Hope to see you all there. Good to thank see you, everybody. Geraldine, Michael, and Tariq. Thank you very much, uh, everyone. So, everyone, you've got the questions I, uh, uh, for discussion. So, I hope that you have downloaded that PDF file. So, right now, I'm going to create the uh, breakout rooms, and I'll um, get about four to five people per room, maximum five, so that everyone has an opportunity to uh, to voice uh, your opinion and discuss it well. So you'll be in the breakout room for 20 minutes. So I'll see you back in this room in 20 minutes. So uh, see you then. Open all rooms. Hi, Jason, you're the first one in. <laughs> Always on time, except for the beginning of the session. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, everybody's coming in. Hi. Yay. Everyone's back here. So welcome back. And uh, I would you. like to hear uh, at least uh, one uh, idea from each uh, group. What was it that you discussed? So uh, anyone wants to go first? Let me hear. Yes. Uh, Henry, go ahead. We were discussing. We, yes, I can go first. We we were discussing uh, uh, states, and that there is not one on, only one state uh, that we are using for writing, but actually several states. There is a state of relaxation. There is a state of uh, uh, being uh, uh, like under pressure writing. Uh, and that is creating a certain kind of flow state while writing. So from diff there is different kind of write writing states. Uh, and sometimes it can be uh, like an inspired state, like uh, uh, trying to figure out exactly the right combination of words could mm -hmm. be a one way of writing. And sometimes it's more like really reflecting uh, about things. That was one thing. And then also that we were thinking about that we are uh, when we are developing the habit of writing actually the habit itself it also affects the state because when we are mm. sitting down writing it it also so it's not only like the state is affecting the writing but also the habit itself is affecting the states oh wow thank you Henry uh, thank you. that's uh, insightful uh, to me thank you uh, and uh, who would like to go next? I'm happy to share. I was in a group with Manuel and Angelique, and um, Angelique brought an interesting point. Like when we got to the second question, um, she shared how the state changes when she thinks about writing for herself as a 
for writing for somebody else versus for writing for herself. Mm. And so that was interesting to think about how when we change the the audience or the, the the intention of who we're writing to or why we're writing, that actually the the state shifted. So instead of maybe someone like a being nervous or anxious or having perfectionism, that it could be more about you know being more deliberate, more calm, more more patient, more curious, mm. and and so on. So I found that was an interesting distinction. Mm. Wow. Mm. Thank you. Uh, appreciate that, uh, Jason. And who would like to go next? I can share. Um, I was in a group with uh, Francisco, Morris, and Lou. And um, we uh, spent some time discussing, talking about how to, I mean, the ideal um, writing writing state uh, was being in a flow, creative relaxation. And, and we also talked about how that um, judgment state uh, might occur, frustration, how, how to deal with that. And some of the points that were made is, you know, to be more, you know, curious about your own frustration mm -hmm. and more accepting, accepting of uh, those thoughts that might show up. Uh, uh, and also being aware of owns uh, our own uh, our own expectations for how fast the process of writing uh, is going to go. Because okay, oh, this is uh, when we start in becoming. Um, it's it's a lot of the time. It's because we expect it to to go faster or to be smarter or you know. Uh, and professional writers, I mean, they they have the habit of writing. And then I think a lot of, they can spend two years, three years writing a novel. And of course they ha also have days of frustration. And I think as long as you expect that to happen and that's a part of the process, that's actually a part of the creative process, mm. uh, then it can change our relationship with that frustration. Mm. So that was some of the points that were made. Wow, thank mm. you for sharing that. Is there uh, another person who would like to share? I, I'll share. I was in a group with Sal, Sujito, and Michael. And what we, the states we named were what's already received curiosity, um, expressive, and also being more specific and detailed, being able to access the state whether we, we will be writing in a state uh, being objective or first, second, third person, creative, being explorative, uh, focused and motivated, um, inspiring, be relaxed, um, enjoyment, writing from joy, fun, and I just added humorous as well. Okay. Right. Uh, I like the last one, humorous. Uh, so that's one of my that's one of my power states. <laughs> okay. So thank you, uh, everyone. Uh, have I missed anyone? Everyone yeah, we talked about. Yes. Yeah, we talked about multiple internal voices, awareness of those. Um, is our personal experience relevant? Do we start writing from the reader's point of view? or is expressing our internal belief, our internal states, uh, does that communicate? Uh, in some political situations, uh, you have to think about what you're writing because of the possible consequences. Mm. And we talked about our children who aren't growing up writing, but thumbing on the uh, on their phones. Is that contribute to critical thinking or the lack of it? Um, yeah, so those were the topics and uh, great discussion. Wow. Thank you very much, uh, Richard. Appreciate that. Right. So ready to move to the next uh, discussion. And for the second discussion. Yes, I've got that on the screen now. The second one is to write for publication. Whoops. Let me just, okay, sorry about that. Now, to write for publication, you have to do two writings. First, for yourself, to make 
um, to make yourself clear. Then for others, it makes sense when they read. The problem is mixing these. For yourself, lighten up and forget about spelling and grammar. Uh, you have Grammarly to help you with that. <laughs> Once you have the writing down on paper, you can evaluate it by the criteria you set. But never, never write when you are in an evaluating or judging frame of mind. It will kill your writing. So the question is, how does this fit to you? What are you learning? What will you do? So that's the uh, first point for discussion. And the second one is writing as an assignment enables your clients to reflect on their first thoughts and uh, feelings. If you ask your clients to write about their experiences in uh, the coaching session with you or conversation with you, then do a second level reflection write about their first reflections. You give them a practical way to step, step back and metastate themselves. So how interested are you in doing this? Would you like to do that today after this meeting? So those are the two uh, questions uh, that uh, I would like to uh, present to you. So you have the... Uh, uh, you have the, the questions with you. So again, I'm going to put you into, uh, into the breakout room. Let me just stop share first so that I can find the button. Uh, and uh, have fun and enjoy yourself. I'll recreate the room. Uh, four to five participants in the room because we've got a couple of people who've uh, moved away from uh, the room. So have fun. And I'll see you in 20 minutes. Hi, hi Zender. Hi, still awake. <laughs> <laughs> yes, for you, it's already tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Welcome back, uh, everyone. Yes, we've got everyone here. Welcome back. Uh, so I would like to hear uh, what were your discussion? If you can uh, share with, uh, uh, with a big group, what is the one thing that you can share from your group? So uh, who would like to go first? Go ahead. Anyone want to start? Gyokni, you are smiling, and uh, I I suspect that you might be looking for the unmute button. Uh oh, I'm mind reading. Yes, she is. <laughs> she is, she is. Yes. I vote for her. <laughs> I, I just give a call to to Francisco to speak up. <laughs> okay. Go ahead, Gyokni. Yeah. <laughs> I think uh, in in our group, uh, I with Francisco and also Mikhail, and yeah, uh, for number one, uh, yes, actually, uh, Francisco make it more uh, clear clearer about about this uh, about this statement. Yes, I agree that uh, we need to uh, release the judgment of our thinking when we start to write because uh, uh a lot of a lot of standard and high standard make us make us uh never never finishing our writing yeah so um agree about that uh yes <laughs> that's uh, na uh, we we discuss about number 1 and about number 2 uh, agree uh for the for the pra practice 
um, our client write their experience and then uh, I think it give opportunity to to be a mirror to be a mirror for for clients writing and also we can we can point out the uh we we can give feedback we we can point out the out of concise con conscious uh from the client but i have a question actually marzuki uh, yes please there's a question <laughs> to everyone here <laughs> yes <laughs> uh when uh or maybe mm, what what kind of client uh, suitable to us to write their experience i think uh, the explanation in writing not uh, in verbal verbal explanation uh, uh, so what kind of any any consideration to ask uh, the client to again, write and when uh, just listen again get me i, I don't quite get that can you rephrase your question? Yeah. Uh, any consideration? Uh, what kind of client we ask to write? And uh, oh, uh, just just verbal explanation. No need to write it down. No. Okay. As a coach, as a coach, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yes. So, anyone would like to uh, answer that? First, experiment, try it. Can't make a mistake. The client will take care of themselves. Mm. Mm. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, and I think I think, uh, I think uh, it's a good exercise. Maybe at the end of the coaching session, uh, we can say that uh, reflection that you have. Uh, will you write down for, you know, will you think more about that and write down uh, uh, your thoughts about that reflection? And then we can discuss it uh, further next time in the next, in the next session, for example. Mm. Mm. Okay. Because I will okay. be exploring meta states, the meta state of the reflection of the reflection. So that, that may be a good way to. Right. Thank you. Um, uh, when when uh, you you ask that question, uh, especially for number two, I had a coaching client who's so used to journaling that after every coaching session, she'd journal it down and then send that journal to me. So uh, I find that very very insightful uh, to be able to better understand uh, her thought process. Yeah, so that was very mm. useful. For me yeah okay so that's very, very yes. interesting Masuki, if you would uh, uh, then ask her to do another round of reflection of those uh, journals mm -hmm. i think if, yeah. if, if because she sent it to you and then it, and then it's like, now 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 uh, like uh, take and take the second level and reflect upon what you just wrote i think that okay. would be perfect for her yeah right thank you Yes. Uh, any other? Any other? Thank groups? you. Thank you, uh, Gyokuni. Appreciate that. Any other groups would like to share? Everyone good with that? Okay. So in that case, I'll I'll take it as everyone is good with that. So uh, in that case, I would like to. Congratulate all of you uh, for being here, for discussing in the group. So before we end, a few announcements that I would like to make. Uh, one is, let me just share screen. Right. So Michael will be conducting this program, Writing Genius, on the 20th, 31st. Oops, not again. Uh, and 22nd February, so it's th this month, just uh, uh, a week away, slightly over a week away. So if you would like to attend that, uh, the people in Egypt are attending it uh, in person. However, it is also open to uh, for online uh, learning, so you can attend the class uh, online. So I will be there. So in, in case uh, anyone wants to join in, so that will be uh, 
slightly over a week from today. So that's writing genius. Uh, next uh, uh, training is coaching mastery uh, from the 11th to the 19th of March. That will be in Bali, Indonesia. So that will be in Gyeongnis country. <laughs> So Michael will be there conducting that training. After Coaching Mastery in March, uh, Michael will be going over to Mexico for the NSTT. NSTT is only once a year. So uh, that will be on the 12th to the 27th of May. So that will be the Neurosemantic Strainers Training. And then Michael will be coming over to Malaysia in June from the 16th to the 24th of June for Coaching Mastery. So any one of you interested to, uh, to join in Coaching Mastery, then by all means, I would like to welcome you. Send me an email that I would love to see you here in Malaysia. So those are the announcements. And the next Neurosemantics community meeting will be on 8th of April. So that will be our... Uh, next uh, meeting. So with that, those will be, that's the end of the uh, announcement. So before we end, I would just like to take a, a photo. So everyone uh, put on your uh, best face. Uh, uh, I know Zenda, it is already tomorrow for you. <laughs> so let's take the photo, everybody. Ready? Three, two, one, smile. And one more. Three, two, one. That's right. So thank you very much, everyone. I really appreciate uh, your being here, your participation in this, uh, in this community meeting. And I look forward to meeting all of you in our next meeting. So to sign off, I'm Mazuki. I'm a neurosemantics trainer and meta coach, and I wish you an exceptional quality of life filled with happiness, creativity, and fulfillment. So God bless. Have a good day to those who are in the morning. Have a good rest of the day for those who are in the afternoon, and have a good night. For those who are already. Uh, uh, thank you, Masuki. Thank, thank you. Thank you, thank you Masuki. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All the best to you. Thank you. Thank you.